First branded item that I can wear. So cute. I am terrified to open them though because I already know there's broken glass in one of them. I love the sweater, but my nightmare has came true. Dishwashers. If you want to get them off, that's the trick. Hello, it's a new day. We went to mom group this morning and then when we got back, our new DTF transfers came in, which means I had to cut them. Um, and I just finished cutting them and I haven't fully looked at them. I do know the first one I saw, I wanted to make some branded shirts for myself. So I had my logo uh, enlarged <laughs> on Canva. I, I mean, I did that. And when it printed, what I wasn't realizing is that it was going to distort it. So that's is a me problem. I think I'm still gonna use it. I don't think it looks that bad. It's just a little grainy looking, but this is just for me, so that's okay. And then I got a couple more little logos because I wanna make Randy a little crew neck sweatshirt, a little, a big one. And I got Asher from Hobby Lobby, a semi-matching, baseball tee so I made him one too so we're gonna have like matching family ones I'm just now realizing I only got two of them though so actually I might just hold off on Asher's I don't know because I kind of want I bought myself a crew neck too but I kind of want the matching pocket one so maybe I'll just give Asher the big one for the baseball tee. I just don't know if this might be too big. We'll find out to do something with that. I was originally gonna do a pocket tee for myself and then it on the back, which I still might do that, but then I need to order another one, but it's gonna be take a while for Asher's. So, anyhow, and then I got my other, well, the reason I even did the order was because <laughs> my mom's bowling team. So this is their bowling team name. That's how we roll. I'm gonna press those onto the shirts that I have the heat press on right now. But my mom collection that won't come out until probably end of September. You kind of saw a sneak peek. I did accidentally mess up on one. And by mess up, I accidentally cut this into the wrong section, which isn't a big deal. It's just gonna be extra work now because I have to like manually place it when I heat press. And it's not automatically like placed for me on the sheet. Oh well, I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and press their shirts and then you many of you guys will see me do it. I'll have it on music. Still see light, even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you and I still can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have felt from the sky. And I feel um, so lucky I met you. It's not bad to come. The way I feel when you walk in the room. Mm -hmm. When you walk in the room. It's not optional. It's not optional. How gravity just pulls me right to you. Sing at night, every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you, and I still um, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have felt from the sky, and I feel um, so lucky I met you. Spend my whole life waiting. Someone like you, baby And all these broken roses led to you Spend my whole life waiting For someone like you, baby And all these broken roses led to you I still Can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight you must have felt from the sky and I feel mm, so lucky
que a mete um Terrible things started happening when you walked away So that's why I stay right here Cause when all of my dreams seem so out of reach You're crystal clear You don't disappear, baby No So why would I such fine details on it. I don't know if I am gonna ruin them or not. So, <laughs> I'm anxious. <laughs> I did end up putting the big one on his little baseball tee. It doesn't look good, like the quality of it is kind of blurry. So next time I do an order, I'll probably um, go in and make another logo that's big that way i can size it down small which is what i do for my other graphics <laughs> it's just on my logo i already had it made and i thought if i expanded it some it wouldn't like distort that much but it did so um you live and you learn not uh, gonna fret over it and i'm still pressing it because i still think it's gonna be cute and i don't feel like waiting <laughs> Look how cute. See, this is the one that I didn't like that much because it was fuzzy, but it actually looks good now that it's printed. So I'm happy that I actually printed it. And look at these. I wish that these were a little bit darker, but I still think it's really cute. And I'm happy. Love it. First branded item that I can wear. So cute. Kitty did it. I just sat down with a whole green drink because I was finally relaxing and one of them spilt it down my entire back. My whole bum is covered in juice. My, do you, oh my goodness. I'm soaked. That's, ugh. <sighs> mm. 
Now I have to take these off and wash them. Great. All right, I have changed and I did get two Amazon packages in. I am terrified to open them though because I already know there's broken glass in one of them because I'll just show you in a second. There's glass. I mean, you can just you know the you know the sound of glass. And uh, if you don't remember, I ordered tumblers, glass tumblers with glass straws, and I know that's what it is. So let's open this carefully and see what we're gonna be returning. The boxes do not look damaged. So, must have just had a little tumble. You hear that? Yeah, okay. All right, so it looks like a straw is broken. So I don't know if I really wanna return it for that or if they'll just send me a new one. I'll probably reach out to them and just check. You can see the glass and the straw. Just looks like that top one just was not, it was just loose for some reason. So we'll see. I don't know what's gonna be the easiest for them. Okay, children. Let's do box number two. we have a cup cradle so this is what I'm going to use to set the cup on when I'm putting the transfers on it awesome and it looks like we have more oh no I hear glass again oh yep dang it they're all the same, like all three are the same. And it is a broken what? Straw. want me to send everything back. I'm hoping they just send me a couple replacement straws. And then we have one more. Oh, actually they didn't send off of my cups yet, but they sent me some packing boxes. Sweet, because I needed them for the tumblers. <laughs> well, hopefully I'll need them for the tumblers. <laughs> Maybe I won't open it just in case. We're gonna get ready and go to the gym and that's gonna conclude the vlog for today okay thank you for watching don't forget to follow if you haven't already youtube sent me a really cute message today that said i had yeah! zero followers in all of last month so that's like thank you youtube for updating me i think that was meant to maybe be an uplifter and it wasn't so subscribe if you're not already and maybe for next month it'll send me an email that says I have a subscriber. So love you good much. Love you so much. Bye. For some of our highlights that we launched in August, uh, spend some time going through our September show. We'll also be taking you guys through a few of the bags and features we launched recently. Back at it again. Just got a Poshmark order. Let me tell you, it is so hard to sell on Poshmark. I think I've ranted about this before because there are now two types of people. Um, those that know the value of their stuff that uh, have it like priced accurately and then those who don't, whether that's on the far, like way too expensive spectrum or on the, I don't need money, I'm just listening it to get out of my house, rich people <laughs> part of the spectrum. And I love, don't get me wrong, I love those rich beauties on 
Poshmark and the teenagers who don't know the value of money who post the stuff their parents buy them uh, because I get really good deals from those people. Such good deals. I'll show you a good deal I got in a second. Um, but then there's people where I don't want a lot for my stuff. I just like want to get it out. But I also don't want to like pay someone to take my stuff either. Because some people will offer you stuff where you have to pay Poshmark to send it to them. And at that point, like, that's not worth it to me. Like, give me at least a couple dollars. And really anything under, like, $13 when you sell on Poshmark really isn't worth it. So if I can get, like, a $13 offer, I am happy. Um, I don't even know where that rant was going, but I did get <laughs> an order from Poshmark, and it was definitely from a rich woman. Um, we're gonna be very grateful to her because she had so many name brand like designer like chanel blah 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 but she had some lulu and guess who gave me a really good deal she did i got two things from lululemon for fifty dollars which is a lot because they were as she listed them like new without tags and i had push my credit on there i told you guys this i keep spending what i told you i wouldn't um but this stuff like lulu stuff stays good for a very long time. Like I'm still in the very first pair of lines I ever purchased back in like 2015, I think. And they're still like, they look new on the outside. They're pilled on the inside, but not on the outside. Okay, anyways, let's, I haven't even looked at it. Maybe it sucks. So I don't have a tripod, so we're just gonna have to like deal with this. Um, That's annoying. Is that better? Yeah. Uh, I have a pair of shorts oh my gosh these are short she wasn't wrong they look new these are short though i'm gonna have to try these on they have the built-in undies they're size eight which in shorts is my preferred size so hopefully that fits and then we got a sweatshirt so both of those things for fifty dollars most people weren't even selling the shorts for fifty dollars and this looks brand new as well dang girl she i don't know why she didn't wear this this is adorable it's just a oh it's just a really really soft sweater it's gonna be maybe like not fitted but not loose what's that like i don't know let's try this on boo items came my my glasses perfect great condition i think i'm just gonna send the one box back and then replace it so these are good i did get some um bubbly mailer and honeycomb mailing stuff to protect it as well so we should be good if we ever need to ship it now okay, i love this sweater but my nightmare has came true they are not high rise i Okay, they are comfy and they fit and I will wear them, but I will not wear them with like a crop shirt <laughs> because this is like not cute. I think they're good. They are just like, they're low rise. So I'll wear them with like sweatshirts and things that go down lower and they're gonna be fine. I just, I was really hoping they'd come up like to my belly button, just like in this area covered would be wonderful because then i would have had like such a cute outfit with like this sweater but they don't go up that high <sighs> now we have to get ready i need to do my hair i need to maybe throw on a tiny bit of concealer and makeup and get in something <coughs> for warm weather because we're going to a football game tonight i don't have much time okay I know it looks like I'm always in the same outfit, but I promise I just wash all my clothes a lot that I wear. Uh, it is a new day. We have my DTF, UV DTF decals came in for the cups. I did return the one thing of cups and they're gonna replace them. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out. I have thoroughly washed it and I think there's a couple of prints on the inside that are wet, but it's completely dry on the outside. So I did not know they were going to do this. When I bought the gang sheet of my decals for the cups, um, it obviously, like normal gang sheets, come to you with the sheet filled and then you cut it out. But uh, this 
DTF provider cut it for me, which I know was a lot of work because I fit so many of these little ghosts like on that sheet, like pressed to each other. So I feel like I got a really good deal there. And if I were them, I would not have done that for me probably. <laughs> so thank you to them. Um, but what we're gonna do is we have a little ghost for the one side of the cup and then a little ghost booty on the back of it. So let's hopefully not mess this up. Okay, I did two cups. One of them is good. The first one was not. So you live and you learn. I messed one up, no problem. I have it in the dishwasher right now. I'll show it to you guys. I have it in the dishwasher because I just want to see how unfriendly dishwashers are for UVDTFs. I know you're not supposed to put them in there. Proceeds to do it anyways, um, just because it's messed up. So I figured if it does end up peeling off, that actually might be a blessing for me. There's just, there's air bubbles in it. I learned that you have to put it down a certain way when you're making these. So the first one's bad. It's a little off center too. I wasn't um, being super careful with my measurements on that little pink device. So the second one turned out beautiful though. And it is drying because I had some like flavored water in it. The also, my mom brought over new dish, no pans, new pans, cookware. It's from the Food Network. So I went and switched all of our old ones and we threw and donated some of those. And also, FYI, if you find these at Aldi, I should have picked up more when they had them, but they didn't have them when I went back today. They're so, so good. Oh, there's nothing in there. You can't eat almonds anyways. So yes, that is what I have been doing. And I just listed the ghost tumblers on TikTok and on Etsy. So they're now on there. I'm excited. They're so cute. And they turned out really well. All right, I think I'm gonna maybe go on a walk or a run try to do a run so i will see you guys hopefully with the update of another sale at some point dishwashers if you want to get them off that's the trick 